Hi, I don't know how this is going to end up. I'm just going to make one up showing rough gorse type, new forest type of landscape. So I'll wet the paper all over. Here's my palette. Got some fresh lemon yellow poured out there, squeezed out. Raw sienna, alizarin crimson, night red, ultramarine, burnt amber, paints grey, burnt sienna. And this is Fabriano 130 pound paper. The size is um, 15 inches by 11. Wet in wet, it's all I really do for wet in wet. I like the softness you can get with uh, this type of painting. I've got the board at about it's less than 30 degrees, I would think, probably about 20, 25 degrees. So I'll, uh, I'll warm the whole thing up with some sienna, a bit of alizarin as well, a bit of light red. That's, uh, Okay, so the weather today is uh, was a bit bright, but it's now cloudy. So I'll just reclip. When your paper expands, I'll put it the other way, I think. Just take the clips off and just put it tight. Helps keep it nice and flat. Right, so we'll put in a bit of cloud, so a bit of blue. I'll see if I can keep away from the paint's grey, so let's make a bit of cloud with a bit of burnt umber and a bit of ultramarine, a bit of light red. Put in some background, just using those colours, blue, red, alizarin. Gentle hills. Then we'll put a bit of that lemon yellow in. Sienna, change your colours quite. Try to do this while, while the paper's wet so they'll all merge together. You can make bit, bits of harder colour here and there. That that's going to improve it or what? But anyway, so we'll get some nice colours in a bit of burnt umber as well, a bit of blue. Well, anything to, to merge at this stage. And as we're coming to the uh, foreground, we'll put a bit of, bit of green. I just used some blue in the, with the yellow. Get some nice dark, dark colours rich. The 
this in the head, then. Right, that's the background. For an underpainting, let's see if we can stiffen up some of this stuff now. It's a nice, nice rich dark. Bit of red, bit of blue. Good, thick. Get some nice greens in here for, for gorse bushes. Well, I'm thickening up the the colours. Keeping away from the Payne's Grey. See so, you know, how the Payne's Grey is a great shortcut to to greens and rich darks, but you can make them with just mixing your primaries, but using thicker paint rather than <coughs> than than weak mixes. Warmer colours, mix of sunlight red in. Warm colours will come to the foreground. Right, and we can put in some. some distant trees. Sort of a wintry sort of scene. We go to Bexhill fairly regular. Well, two or three times a year anyway. So we have friends there. We move from where we live here in the South London suburb. Um, and we travel down the A2, A A22 which is uh, slow going sometimes, but it's a lovely route through Ashdown Forest. So trying to recreate bits of it. Just a piece of rough ground, really. Well, thousands and thousands of acres of it, but... ground undulating. Okay. Right, 
a bit of blue now, just just on this distance. One dark, so brown and blue. Burnt umber is great with the, the ultramarine. Especially in a wash, it does separate on roughish paper. That's where I want my darks in this middle distance here. to smaller brushes, just the large two inch hake. <coughs> right, now we will. We'll clean the brush. If your brush, if you forget to clean the, think the paint off the tips of it, of them, just soak them in water for a while, it will soften. Right, uh, I'll use a small rigger. Just use my fingernail just to scratch out some some details. Bit of this sort of detail in the foreground. If we click, it's always good fun to to do these sort of things. We're really just just doodling, but creative doodling. Just making art semi abstract, that do look to my eye quite attractive. In the National Forest, there's a lovely rough car park with lovely views over the what was the forest it's, it's very there are very few trees now a few stands of trees but it's quite wild open and very very lovely so let's just bring in a little bit of some rough Oh, they're just talking about I'm listening to LBC radio and uh, just said there's a we're slow going on the A22 which I just mentioned Godston Road okay so so there we are we've got we've got a sort of painting coming in let's put in some detail here Right, I quite like that. There's uh, something there I don't like. I'll put a bird there. Put a crow.
Right, I won't put any figures, I'll sign it, I'll put it in a mount and then... Yeah, yeah. Right, now I'll put that in a... in the ivory coloured mount. Take the clips off. Uh, there we are, we have a New Forest type of, not New Forest, Ashdown Forest we call it. I go through this far more often than I go through the New Forest down in Hampshire. Well there we are, so we've got a very simple, I think quite effective, quite pleased with that. Whoops. We'll, we'll zoom in, let's bring you up closer to we can get some square on and we won't look at the sky we'll just go down the, the foreground now this is a bit tricky trying to do this okay go up to the distance and the, f and the middle distance so a bit of gorse and some some thin trees sticking out from behind the gorse. So all in all, a simple bit of painting. Right, I quite like that, I hope you do. Do these sort of things yourself, just make up a landscape, don't have anything to, to work from other than your own imagination and just, and just crack on with it. And, and enjoy the business of, of making art. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.